Hey everyone, so I've got a really exciting video today. I'm actually doing a collab with Bunny DIY. We have both decided to make like a novelty handbag. So as you can see here, I've got like a fish bowl in front of me. So you can probably kind of guess what I'm going to be doing. So definitely head over to Bunny DIY's channel and check out her video. I'll put a link in the description so you can check that out later. And also a card as well at the end of the video. I don't know why I'm pointing up for them. Um, so yeah, definitely check out her channel. She has a really cool DIYs, resin crafts and everything like that. And her channel is just really cool and fun and I just love all her videos. So yeah, definitely check her out. And on to my one. So as I said, I have this goldfish bar <laughs> forgetting my words and i'm going to be making a novelty handbag so i actually bought this in the pound shop so it's like the equivalent to the dollar store in the us so it's really really cheap and next i went ahead and made like some pebbles i was going to buy some but when i went to the pet shop the bags were like huge and i don't need an entire you know whatever it was two kilos one kilo whatever of the pebbles that i decided to make some so i'll just put in a snippet here of me kind of showing you one of them and things like that but yeah essentially i just chose these kind of different shades of pink and i made like these pebbly shapes so what i'm going to do to start off with is go ahead and kind of put these in the fish bowl with some UV resin just to kind of keep all of the pebbles in place and that way later on when I continue making this they won't get disturbed when I'm like moving the bowl around or you know if I'm out shopping and I decide to take my goldfish bowl handbag with me so yes let's move on and do the UV resin part so the resin I'm using is this UV resin heart type if you're going to do like a similar project to me, you can always use the um, epoxy one where you have to mix the A and the B, blah, blah, blah. But obviously you'll just need to leave this to harden um, depending on the kind of one which you buy. Some of them take, I don't know, up to 24 hours, I think. So I'm just going to basically go ahead and like pour this in at the bottom, as you can see here. And I'm probably just going to do like a thin layer just to kind of cover that bottom circle. And then I'm going to start placing in my um, clay pebbles. So I have my pebbles arranged. I do want to touch this to hit them up because I don't want them to like move around but next i'm going to be using this uv lamp to just like cure it i do have this bandana um i don't know where my mask is but basically when you're using this kind of stuff make sure you're doing it in a well ventilated area when i put this on i just look like i'm about to rob a bank or i'm from like one of those old western movies if you can hear me properly so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and basically like cure this and make sure none of the pebbles move around got my pebbles in they're nice and secure give that a little shake as you can see that's what it looks like from the bottom actually looks really cool Ooh. anyway next i actually 3d printed this ornament and here it is i will show you a really quick time lapse right now of this being 3d printed
colour did this with some Bosco pens. I just chose some cute colours, obviously really basic, pink, blue and yellow. So I'm going to be using my resin again as I want this to stay like secure in the bowl as well. I'm just going to find like a good position where it doesn't like fold over or whatever. So I forgot before I move on to the fish I actually have these. It's like um, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> like the little plants that you kind of get in the fish tanks and these are obviously like glittery so I'm going to stick them together in like a three and then like put them in the bowl and I am actually going to be using UV resin for that so I've got these two fish here I just got these in the toy shop they have like plastic animals and I've got like this happy fish here I've already experimented with some colours and then I've got like this grumpy fish he looks really like if you can kind of see that he's like mm, like that the downturned kind of fishy face that fish have <laughs> so I'm just going to be using my Bosco pens which I've already used on this side of the fish just to kind of like brighten them up and I'm gonna stick to kind of these colours so hello it's me and voiceover i next put some glitter into the fish bowl and i did put the fish in i'm so sorry i don't know where the footage went of like the final fish then i used this vinyl it's basically like tablecloth vinyl to put like a block over the bottom half and the top half so i could actually use it as a handbag and then i filled it with oil so as you can see i've like gone all the way around the edge of uv resin making sure there's no holes and then i took my syringe i made a little hole in the vinyl and filled this up with oil and once it was all fully filled i just sealed the hole up with some more uv resin my favorite thing in this project at the moment really helped this come together then i needed to make some handles so i had this like stripy fabric i cut this into actually six strips and I rolled them all together like so just using some fabric glue to basically make six kind of rolled up strips and then this became two handles so once I'd rolled up all my strips I grabbed them and kind of clip them together at the end as you will see it really soon like so and then I just like plaited them together so I did do, do this like twice so I doubled up on this because obviously I wanted two handles so you can see I'm just doing like a simple plait here and off to the side you can see like the d-rings which I will get to shortly so I simply just plaited this all together and then when I got to the end I pinched it all down and just used some more fabric glue. Of course you could sew this part together as well. I just was like cheating and wanted to be quick so just using the fabric glue. So as you can see here are my two handles and then to connect them on I'm using these like rings with um, a kind of a clasp bit so here you can see both of them and I poked a hole just using scissors and then I put like the clasp bit in it to the hole I can't remember what it's actually called like uh, kind of like I think it's a lobster clasp something like that so you can see I'm just like clipping it through here I struggled a bit because I've got my nails on <laughs> and basically it just pushed that down into the bowl it's actually quite cool because you could always remove the handles and just kind of have this as a decor piece and then once i'd put both of my d-rings on i pushed the ends of my handles in and then i tied them together so i think i pulled them through like a, quite a bit so i could just knot them and then i pulled them back up hopefully that kind of makes sense so yeah I did the knot and then just pulled it so it was nice and tight back to the d-ring and yeah my bag was unfinished so here is the final handbag I think it looks so cool and funny and as you can see like the fish move around when you shake it and everything else stays in place so I'm really happy with this it is quite heavy I'm not gonna lie obviously because of all the oil so make sure to head over to bunny DIY and watch her video of her novelty handbag and make sure to also give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more thanks for watching bye